All right, everybody, uh, my name is Chris, and I wanted to give you an update on the Nordstrom's petition, as well as a couple of other updates as well uh, regarding the direction of my channel and future mall trips as well. So the first thing I wanted to go over was the Nordstrom's uh, signatures for the petition. So the petition has received over 11,800 signatures. It is still increasing, which is a good thing, uh, but it is unfortunately at a much slower rate. Um, but the support is still definitely pouring in. So I definitely encourage people to keep up that support. Um, it's almost at 12,000 plus signatures. It's pretty close. Um, I don't know at this point what is going to happen with that store, you know, depending on the restrictions, obviously. And that's another thing I wanted to go to uh, very quickly as well is talking about the restrictions. So in particular, um, around here, at least, we're starting to see some businesses reopen up. Much, almost all of outdoor recreational activity is going to be opening up, but with limited capacity. Um, obviously, people are going to have to wear face masks. That's just going to be the new norm. Um, and I don't know yet about malls. I, I, I don't even know what date yet I'm going to uh, make my mall trips. Like I said, I'm going to make a very educated decision uh, when the time comes, and certainly, of course, when most stores or all the stores that I want to visit that have an elevator that are open, because like I said, I don't want to have to go out there and then all of a sudden a certain store isn't open yet. Um, so again, it's pretty much just right now still a day-by-day -day basis, but we're starting to see some light at the end of the tunnel. And also, I very much hope to get to where I wanted to go to in March I would say the earliest, and if we're lucky, late May, early June, but it all depends on when retailers are allowed to open up. If malls open up in New Jersey first, and if Nordstrom decides to open up at Freehold, if they decide to reopen that store, that will most likely be my first mall to visit. Um, if they do decide to open up that store for a very quick, brief uh, round of liquidation sales, but again, uh, it's all going to depend on the support of the petition and also the mall owners to make sure that people do get that chance to see the Nordstrom store uh, one last time before it closes permanently. But again, it all depends on what direction the support goes in. As for Long Island right now, I don't have an exact set in stone date. Um, like I said, it all depends on when uh, government officials say that it is completely okay to have retail opened up again with reduced capacity. So again, I just want to say that, guys, this has been really an incredible um, time. You know, this has been quite a journey. You know, we on my channel and, uh, and many other elevator channels, we've never really had to embark something like this. Although a lot of elevator channels, the good news is they do have a lot of backlog content. So at least they can keep their channels rolling. Unfortunately, I do not. Um, because like I said, I wasn't able to get out to where I wanted to go to. Um, because like I said, that's when the coronavirus hotspot, at least in uh, New York City, really started to form. Um, but I am very glad now that things are starting to get back to somewhat of a normal level. Um, and like I said, I'm just going on, on it by a day-by-day -day basis. And when the time comes and when it is safe and appropriate to do the trip, I will take care of it. But it will definitely be at some point between now and before the end of June. I can count on that. I just don't have a set in stone date, date as of right now. But again, I will keep you guys posted uh, when more information becomes available or when I am ready to make an announcement about when I will be making certain mall trips. But right now, um, unfortunately, I'm just going to be staying home and only going out for essential travel. So, <clears throat> so anyways, guys, I want to thank you again for watching this video. Again, if you guys have not signed the Nordstrom's petition to save the store at the Freehold Raceway Mall in Freehold, New Jersey, I strongly urge you to sign that petition. You know, we could either get to save the store or get to say one final goodbye to the actual department store itself and all the employees that work there. So if any of the employees are watching this, hopefully we can save your store. And if not, I wish the best of luck of you transferring to a re another regular full price Nordstrom store or a Nordstrom's Rack Store, depending on what the company decides to offer you as an employer. Anyways, guys, thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and that will be it.